So that's where Allie goes. All right. Very ready. Did you want to wear this? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's up to you. So just push the... There you go. You just put this magnet in the back. All right. Good morning, my friends. How was recess? Good. Was it wet outside? One person is talking at a time. Would you set up the video for me? Yeah. Just let me get the I got I got a Okay. So what I would like to do today, I'll be teaching you how to disagree appropriately. What does disagree mean? What does it mean when you disagree? Can you raise your hand and let me know? Let's see. Rudy? Teacher Sarah. Rudy's going to tell us what disagreement means, and then we can talk to you, Dante. Can you wait for that? Thank you so much, Dante. Rudy, what does it mean when you disagree? You have to listen to your two teachers. Okay. When you disagree, what does it mean? You don't stay ready. You stay ready. If you disagree, then, it means do you accept? Yeah. If you disagree, it means you do not approve, and, then, and you don't accept it, you do not want it. Disagree. Yes, Island? No more sitting, no more um, protein, and no more dinner on the floor. Okay. Dante, thank you for waiting so patiently and raising your hand. Watch the video and you're going to see that Elmo and some of his friends are not agreeing with each other. And then you're going to observe what they do to solve the disagreement. And disagreement means you do not approve. Question. My baby wants Elmo. Elmo? Yes. Okay. So we're going to play the video now and we're going to observe this disagreement. Okay. Ready? Oh, yeah! 
keep up with tall buildings in a single bounce. Oh, do it. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not my superpower. No, it didn't work. They didn't let you play? Not enough costumes. How about just play by himself? They don't worry. Sometimes plans don't work out. But you shouldn't give up. You could always try a different strategy. Well, like what? Well, well, maybe you can come up with a new way to play action heroes. New plan? Yeah. Let's think about it. Who else is in action hero stories? Just the action heroes. And the people that are. <laughs> maybe Elmo can be one of those people. Look, the action heroes could rescue Elmo. Oh, that's a great idea. Why don't you go over there and try that strategy? <laughs> What's wrong? I must freak the same Yorkie. Well, they could, but you won't know unless you try. Okay, my Amma will give it a try. All right. All right. All right, action heroes, it's time for our first adventure. <laughs> They did prove that what they do when Elmo offers that suggestion. Mm. Maybe the action heroes can rescue somebody. Yeah, that's a great idea. Action heroes rescue people all the time. Yeah. yeah. What else should we rescue? Hmm. Maybe it's a little red monster being chased by a dangerous lion. Okay, so what did we see? We saw that Elmo wanted to play with some friends. But they didn't agree it. They did not agree. They did not approve. Why? But then after they agreed. They did agree. They thought Elmo was the daddy. Elmo said, um, what about Elmo was the daddy? And there were no more outfits. Oh, Dante's talking. I want to hear what Dante is saying. One person at a time so I can hear what all of you are saying. Dante. And then he came about with an idea. Yes. And then they prove with it. Yes, you're absolutely right. Malik, after Malik, then you can go seven. Thank you for waiting for waiting so patiently. Keep your hands in your lap. I can't hear them. They don't have clothes. They did not have enough clothes. And now, and now he doesn't have it on. And now he got a deer. Now, and now the plane. That's right. So. What is that? These are my cards to help you. And so. When we're disagreeing appropriately, there are some juicy words. And I call them juicy words yeah. because they're really important. So when we're disagreeing appropriately, there are some juicy words that you should keep in mind. For instance, accept. Can you raise your hand and let me know if you know what accept means? If you accept something? James, what does accept mean? All right, well, choose someone else to tell us what accept means. Choose a different classmate, James. Someone sitting quietly with their hand up. What does accept mean? If they accepted Elmo, what did they do? Come on, James, choose someone with their hand up. There we go. Choose someone with their hand up. Julia. Julia? Julia? What does it mean when you accept something? If I give you a cookie, Will you accept it? Or will you not accept it? Accept it. Yep, you would accept it. You would agree with it. Island, accept. Um, there's only three schools, you know? There's plenty of cards. So, disagree. What does it mean when you disagree? It means you do not approve. Unfair. What does it mean when something is not fair? They don't let you play. They don't let you play. They were not being fair to Elmo. They were being too sad. 
He was sad when if they... If you play it again, then they will be nice. Yes, yes. Malik? So, um, that is the share, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm not share, but the other friend doesn't share. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you're given a choice, Sometimes when you have a disagreement, you don't have a choice. But when we saw Elmo, he offered choices and different ideas. Choice. Okay, now I'm going to need some help. But I want you to think about why do you think it's important to know how to disagree appropriately? Why does that matter? Why does it matter? What if Elmo went to his friends and began yelling at them, let me play right now. That would be, no, that would be, that would be mean. That would be mean. And if they say, can I go play, can I play with you? That is a very nice way. And so, there are three steps for disagreeing appropriately. And I'll need someone to hold this sign up for me. Daniela? Okay, and I want you to hold it up so that your classmates can see it. Okay, there we go. Step one. I can see it. I can see it. Reassure the other person. Reassure the other person. What does reassure mean? Do you have your hand up? Question? Don't have to yell. 
you don't have to do this or this. You look at the person. And then you need to be patient. And you do need to be patient. Thank you for saying that. And you listen to the person. Yes. Yes. So when you disagree appropriately, you do three things. First, reassure the other person. Let me hear you say it. Reassure the other person. After you reassure the other person, you look at the person. And the last part is, what's step number three? You tell them something. You tell them something. Step number three. What is step number three? It involves your ears. You listen to the other person. Okay, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Okay, I'll take the signs. So, we have learned the three skill steps for disagreeing appropriately. I want to go. I want to go. Okay. Before we end our lesson of disagreeing appropriately, where are you going? Where are you raising your hand to go? I don't understand. Right here. The card. Oh, you're raising your hand to hold a card? Yeah. Oh, no need to raise your hand. I haven't offered to let you hold one of the cards. Why is it important to know how to disagree appropriately? Why was it important that Elmo didn't run over and say, let me play now? Yeah. Why is it important because to disagree yeah. appropriately? Yes, you, you'll remain friends. Sometimes if you disagree and you're mean to the other person, they may not want to be your friend again. What's another reason why is it important to disagree appropriately? Yes. to disagree appropriately. Well, you avoid shouting matches, hurt feelings. Another reason why it's important to disagree appropriately, it helps you remain calm. How was Elmo when he went over to his friends? Was he angry? Was he calm? He was calm. He was sad. He was calm and sad. Thank you. So I know you all want to hold up the signs for me, so I will sit, choose students who are sitting with their legs crossed, with their hands in their lap, and I'll be giving you a sign. And this will be the end of our lesson, the three steps for disagreeing appropriately. If you're saying me, that means you're not sitting quietly. Okay. Step number one, and I would like to hear you say it. Oh, can you hold up the sign? Step number one, reassure the other person. Who has step number two? Derek. Oh, where's step number two? Come on up. Step number two. Hold it up for us all to see. What is step number two? What do you do to the other person? Do you look at your shoes? No. Your fingernails? No. You look at the other person. Step number three. What is step number three? Step number three is like this. Yes, if you go like that. You don't do that. Exactly, it's not nice. 
That is correct. You all have such great ideas. Well, You're absolutely right. So what I want you to remember. If you let on them, then they then they will go they will run off and cross and they will just they will, and then um Elmo would just play around. But if you run around, I will find what I'll Thank you. Okay, I'll take the paper. Well thank you so much. Now you know the three the three steps for disagreeing appropriately. Thank you all for being such awesome listeners. Rudy? No, no, no. You have a question, Rudy? I'm choosing you, so please tell us your question. I want to Oh, you wanted to hold up the sign? Well, it looks like your classmates are getting wiggly and they want to move on to something else. So we'll end the lesson there, but we'll be doing the lesson again. You'll be drawing what it looks like to disagree appropriately. I can't okay? do it. All right, well, thank you so much.